Hey guys, welcome to uh, TWC Projects. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a review and a little bit of an update too on my absolute favorite piece of equipment that I've probably ever had and that I certainly have now, and that is my uh, side by side, my Massimo T Boss 550. Uh, anyway, stick with me. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I bought it what I love about it and show you around all the features and some of the things I've added to it too to make it uh, just the way I like it. So let's start at the front and work our way back and I'll tell you a little bit about uh, why it was that uh, I really like this thing. Um, first and foremost was that uh, it came equipped with pretty much everything I thought I would need and, and then I just added a few more things that I wanted. But uh, that includes things like uh, four wheel um, perforated discs on all four wheel br power brakes, um, splash guards. Uh, McPherson strut adjustable struts on all four wheels. Um, it's also, if you can see up inside there, I'm not sure how well you can see up in there, but basically it's liquid cooled. So there's a radiator in there, an electric fan behind it on these really hot days that we have sometimes in Virginia. Um, all that's on it. Came standard with this uh, 3,500 pound um, electronic winch or electric winch, excuse me, and uh, bull bar. And I'm, I'm listing things that don't usually come with a lot of these, so um, they usually add on options. Um, it does, uh, of course, the lights always come, but these are pretty good lights on these, especially in this uh, in this price point in this model or this uh, model range of, of uh, UTV side by sides. Um, this windshield is pretty awesome. Uh, it comes with this. It opens up. You can adjust. There's a couple different. You can go out a little bit further on super hot days, or go down tight. There's a little bit of rubber seal right up in here, which makes it nice to uh, seal down tight and keep the air from flowing through, or, or, or a little bit of water if it's misting and raining a little bit when you're out. Comes standard with the rear view mirrors. Comes standard with the uh, rock sliders, which are really handy and awesome, and unfortunately I've already <laughs> needed it, but uh, it was there. Came with these very nice uh, aluminum rims, uh, excellent mud tires, uh, of course, uh, like a lot of these, what, what makes it a UTV over, over some of the others is the uh, dump, hydraulic assist dump on it. So, love that. Um, also, let's see, a nice little easy one-handed tailgate comes down. Very soft. I actually stood on the back of this thing many times. I'm right around 200 pounds, so very strong. Um, and then uh, I, I added this on. Um, but I have several different ones that can go in there for whatever I need. And of course, this is uh, uh, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive. You can have it in four wheel. You can have it in, uh, um, so it, normally two, you, uh, you can have it in four wheel drive and you can even lock differentials if you want to, if you're in a tough spot, um, maybe in rocks or in a, in a real tough spot where you need all four wheels to be engaged. Also has a nice feature on the back, uh, it allows you to um, turn off the uh, lock differential for the rear wheels so that when you're running, running around on the you know the grass and places you don't want to tear up um, then you're, you're you know it's like a normal car where the, the, the wheels will be independent and not uh, and not rip up the grass so uh, also um, it's got this ability to tilt you can pull this and adjust and adjust the whole gauge cluster and everything goes up and down with it I like the uh, the uh, gear shifter up here on the on the um, dash. Um, oh, one of the big selling points for me was that I could have a third person in here comfortably, and um, uh, I did end up adding a seat belt to the middle just because it didn't come with one. But that was uh, really that was like a fifteen dollar add-on. It was uh, all I had to do is take these bolts out and then add in my other seat belt and put the bolt back on. I did that on both sides, and so I've got a nice center seat belt now. Uh, I added this little light because at night time, and it's just a simple little, I think I got three of those for $8, um, and I just Velcroed it up onto the 
onto the roof line there. Uh, I just added this big rear view mirror, which is excellent, man. This thing is, really lets you see what's going on behind you. Um, much better than these. Uh, the sides help sometimes when you're trying to figure out how close you are, especially if you're in tight spots um, up in the woods and you're going up between rocks or logs. It does help you be able to look down and see, you know, what's going on down beside you. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I happen to like these better than the plastic doors. I don't know why, um, but I like, I've always liked these net doors better. Uh, they, there are, um, uh, there probably are some optional doors that you can put on. I haven't seen them for this particular brand, but a lot of them have those plastic doors. They're low doors, uh, but I just, I like this so I can kind of leave it down if I want to or put it up. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to talk about? Um, okay, so some of the other add-ons. I showed you the seat belt. Um, so this was an add-on, a grab bar. Uh, this I ordered from the manufacturer directly, of course, that uh, that um, goes down in and bolts in under the hood area. So the uh, remote add-in I, I put on, I'll tell you about in a second, but it, it came with this keychain remote, which works really well too, actually. And then I, I have one in the glove box. I'll take you over here. So a few nice essentials that I put in here, of course, a separate set of screwdrivers, a Sharpie, uh, first aid kit, the tool kit that comes with it, bear mace, um, you know, you're out in the woods just in case. And um, this this is another uh, remote for the winch as well. So I can go walk up to 20 feet away from that thing and be, uh, you know, unwinding the whole winch and, uh, and then winding it back in. So that's a real nice feature. I added that on. I've got a, I can show you a photo. It, you know, I thought it came with one. And so when I got it, I was a little disappointed that it didn't. Um, and then uh, I called the manufacturer and they said, no, we don't have a wireless remote for this, for this unit. Um, so I ordered, it was like 17 bucks off of Amazon and I got it. And then when I started uh, figuring out how to, to wire it up, thinking it was gonna be a real hassle, I got down underneath here and I've got some photos of it apart. But so I figured that this box is where I needed to go to get to my wiring for the remote. And when I took this apart, it had a module inside it a, a receiver module with all, for the four or five wires on it exactly the same as the ones that I got for the $17 on Amazon so I literally just pulled the one out of there so it, it did have one just no remote handheld um, so I pulled the one out of there put my new one in wired it up works perfectly I love it um, makes it really easy to, to control it um, you know especially when you want to be walking back or adjusting or when you're when you're reeling it back up you need the tension on it at all times so it's nice to be able to have the cable in one hand and the remote in the other and be able to uh, to wind it right in. So, uh, of course, any good side-by-side uh, -side if you're gonna go out at nighttime, you need a good light bar on it. So I've got this massive LED uh, light bar that I put on and hooked up and um, the switch for it isn't, isn't perfectly beautiful, but that little red switch right there is the control for that. Um, let's see what else. That might be, that might be it. So anyway, let me tell you some of the reasons why I bought this thing. Uh, one was that uh, it did come with all the most of those accessories I told you about: windshield, bull bar, um, winch, uh, rock sliders, um, side view mirrors. I mean, these are things that you just don't usually get with these. Um, and of course, I did love the nice wheels. So I didn't want to mess around with trying to keep adding everything on after. Although I did do, like I said, a few things I added after. But um, but uh, it even has it has blinkers left and right blinkers down here as well and brake lights of course i've got a license plate i've got to put on i've registered this thing so i can put it on the road and i can drive on roads under 45 i think where i live um so and you know you've got left and right blinkers and tail um, brake lights of course come on when you put, touch on the brakes um, so it's very much like a car um, it let's see what else can i tell you about it uh, I, I love the, you know, I love the wheels and the tires that came with it. I love that it was, uh, you know, it's all fuel injected, so that no matter hot or cold, the thing always just starts up every time. It's very reliable, um, very durable, and uh, of course the, the liquid cooling, as I said before, and on, on the heat in the heat, I don't have to worry of the thing overheating on me. Um, you know, you pay attention to it, of course, but um, but it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I love the overall look and, and styling of it. That was important to me as well. 
Um, price point was was really fantastic. I mean, there was nothing else that seemed even close. Uh, I love that it was also made here in America, although, you know, a lot of the parts and the engine and a lot of pieces aren't made in America. That's just the way that is, but it's all, this machine is designed and assembled here in the United States and Texas and manufacturers down there. And I actually dealt directly with the manufacturer, um, mainly because I just couldn't find anything else that I liked as much as I like this thing. I mean, I just absolutely, I took a big risk though. I had never driven this. I had driven some others, but never driven this particular model or brand. Um, but I did a lot of homework, a lot of research. A lot of these just don't offer a good uh, a manufacturer warranty and or any at all, you know, like 30 days or 60 days. This offered a full year manufacturer warranty, so I thought that was pretty good. And um, everything when I got it, you know, the, the quality control of the manufacturing of this thing, like every single bolt on this thing when I walked around, and still a lot of them have it still, Every single one had a marking on it showing that somebody come, come through and inspected that they were all torqued properly, everything was in place. So just really, uh, really terrific build quality. And um, I didn't expect that. I, honestly, I, I, you know, I, I just seen so many things about a lot of these rigs. Some of them are good, but uh, people had issues sending them, you know, dealing with even reputable companies that, um, that sell, but don't really um, manufacture these things. Um, and he, so I read, you know, did a lot of research, a lot of reviews, and uh, that's partly what led me to this one as well. And I felt, uh, I felt pretty comfortable, and the thing showed up in the nighttime on a flatbed, fully ready. All I had to do is, you know, had just a little bit of gas in it, but I had a little more gas. That was it. No assembly required. Um, the thing just, it's, it's really kind of I feel like it's bulletproof I use it all the time a lot of short hops hauling stuff you, you know you've seen me haul dig logs with my uh, with my uh, uh, Bannon log wagon um, I pulled pulled big trees um, out from the woods with this thing it's just that I haven't really figured, found anything I couldn't do yet with it um, I thought about getting a 750 which is the next, it's the same, almost the same exact thing, just some, some minor differences, so slightly different wheels, so certainly a bigger engine. Um, a few other probably minor things that I'm not sure about what those are, but uh, uh, so maybe the 750 could have been a little bit better if I, I was doing a lot more hill climbing or off-road, um, but I mainly use it across my property for, for a, a workhorse, and it does everything I need to do. i just been very happy with it. I love this thing. It uh, doesn't seem to burn much gas either. I feel like I never put gas in it. Um, and it's always good to go, always reliable, always hauls whatever I want. It's, uh, it's a beast. And of course, one of the things that separates um, some of the, you know, the, the, the bigger, fancier off-road UTVs is the um, clearance. And this has, a, a, I think, a 12-inch clearance throughout, which is pretty good. Um, not as big, you know, the, the really super-duper razors and stuff or whatever, 19 inches or something. They're, they have tons of clearance. But I, I, I'm, you know, that's not really what I got this thing for. But I still do like all four, um, all four wheel uh, A-frame um, independent suspension. Uh, it just, it, it really allows you to kind of go in any any kind of condition, and um, you know, it rides relatively smooth. I mean, it's you know, it's an off-road vehicle, so it's gonna, it's not like a car, but it it uh, is surprising. So uh, that's pretty cool too. And you, you've seen me use this thing all the time. I'm always, uh, I'm always out doing something with this. Almost every video it's in because it's just uh, that essential. If, honestly, if I had to give up every piece of equipment but one, this would be the one I would keep. Uh, even my Cub Cadet Zero Turn, I, forget it. I'd let the grass grow before I'd give this thing up. I, I, it's just, it's, it's the bomb, and uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I'm, I don't have even a slight regret of any sort. I haven't had any issue at all with it. Um, it's been fantastic. So I don't know what else to say. Uh, I think if you have questions, please feel free to let me know. Um, I, 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 you know, like I said, when I looked around, uh, and and at the time, and I don't know what these are running now. I know everything seems to be going up in price. I, I think this was uh, really one of the lowest price points I could find. Uh, all that equipment uh, with that kind of a quality uh, built rig, and uh, there's more specs on it. You know. Uh, I think it holds, uh, it'll carry like 450 pounds or more, it seems like more than that. I probably put more than that already in the back. Um, you can tow behind supposedly 1100. I think I've probably pulled more than that. But um, as long as you're careful, you know, obviously it's a CVT, it's a, 
uh, centrifugal force uh, clutch in it, so you always want to be a little bit careful with those in terms of. Uh, uh, but you can put the thing down and low, uh, and it'll just dig down in and do whatever it needs to do. So it is it is quite the rig, real nice. All right, so this is a little bit of a quick video, but uh, I just wanted to, to I realized I'd never really done any kind of a review on it, um, and uh, and I thought it was worth showing you, you know, I definitely, you see it in every every video I do, I love it, I use it all the time. I um, also getting ready to do a trip in a few weeks. Um, we're gonna do a real nice mountain trip, so I actually got, <laughs> cleaned it up. That's partly why I wanted to do a video today, too. It's the first time it's been cleaning quite a while, um, so, I'll, uh, my daughter and I are going to be heading up into the mountains and uh, hitting the Pocahontas trails out near the uh, West Virginia border of, of Western Virginia, Southwestern Virginia, and um, we're going to get a lot of video footage from there. Um, we'll have the, the GoPro with us and some other cameras so that we can uh, capture a lot of that experience. I'm super excited about that. I can't, I really can't wait to do that. I've been really preparing for that. That's why I wanted to get the last of my accessories on this thing and uh, get it all cleaned up. So we're going to. We're gonna have a video out probably, I don't know, three or four weeks you'll see, um, where we uh, do a bunch of uh, uh, mountain uh, trails and some beautiful scenery and we'll bring you along. So uh, look forward to that and uh, look forward to sharing that with you. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, you're doing well, taking care of yourself, enjoying the outdoors, um, building things, hope you get inspired to fix and, and upgrade things and, and just you know work with your hands and enjoy enjoy what's here you know it's just amazing we every day we get a chance to do something new and something beautiful and uh, that's why I love to share that with you and I hope you do the same take care be well we'll see you next time